Today on Star Citizen, we are doing Bounty Hunter quests. That's right, we're going to be doing some NPC Bounty Hunter missions. Nothing too crazy, just these VLRT, which stands for Very Low Something Threats. I don't know, they're only worth 4,000, but we also have um, another quest too that gives us, from the Mercenary Tree called the Call to Harms, that gives us 500 per ship kill. And I'm just going to fly around and kill ships. And yeah, that this is another aspect of um, Star Citizen's gameplay that people really hype about. But I think, I'm going to be real honest. It uh, looks like that's obstructed, so I'm going to have to fly around it. Okay, so I'm going to be real honest, I believe. I don't want to fly there, that'll make me a criminal. So we're going to fly towards this location instead. And uh, so, a lot of people hype up the space combat and say it's really good. I think space combat in this game is actually kind of boring. I don't think it's that good. I think it's... Kind of snooze-worthy, really, but I'll let you be the judge. I'll let you, uh, you know, I'll let you see what you think about it. All right, so there we go. We uh, had to basically get around a bug by traveling somewhere else so that we could travel this way due to obstruction, whatever. Um, the game's still being worked on. It's in alpha is what they'll tell you. Anyway, so we're going to go fight Milford Gilmore. <laughs> and I'm using a ship called the Reliant Tana. It's a very missile-heavy ship. And we're going to shoot missiles at bad guys, and uh, yeah, we're going to... It's going to be pretty cool. And we're going to stop warping here so I can go towards this guy who's actually in an asteroid belt. So yeah, there we go. And again, we're going to do another quantum warp and get there. Now, we're going to fight this guy in an asteroid field, which means we could hit an asteroid and die. Uh, which is, you know, perfectly fine, because, you know, being instantly killed by something that's a little hard to see is totally normal. Whereas doing bunker missions uh, pays way better, they're way easier. They're even more fun than this. So yeah, I'm going to switch to missile mode. I have lots of missiles on this ship, and we're just going to shoot missiles at bad guys, kill them. And uh, if they have any little helpers, we'll kill them too for that extra 500. Uh, pretty simple stuff. Alright, so right now I'm going to go ahead and full power to weapons. That way my missile... I don't know if it makes missiles charge faster. I honestly have no idea. I'm going to turn off my cruise control also. And uh, we got to neutralize the dude. Is that him? Nope, that's Denny. We don't want Denny. We want Milford. Okay, and let's launch the missiles. And I got inbound missiles, so I'm going to go ahead and not use third person mode, but I have... Put power back to my thrusters, shields, and weaponry. And, yeah, we're just going to sit here and shoot a bunch of missiles at him. Looks like he flared. That's fine. We just got to wait for a sec. <laughs> uh, again, these are pretty low targets. I'm going to switch weapon modes here and then fight him normally with our four cannons. And he has no shields, so it's pretty easy. That's not the guy that we want to fight. That's Denny. We'll kill him later. Or we can kill him now. It's fine. We gotta neutralize this dude. And I'm just using the the, the ship's auto lock-on gimbals, which means it aims for me. So, I could shoot missiles here, because he's kind of far away. Or I can just shoot him with the cannons. It's fine. And he's shooting me. Not a big deal. There we go. Boom. Pretty, pretty, uh, I don't know. It's kind of lackluster, you know? Now we're going to lock onto his friend, who is uh, also helping him. And there you go. Now he's dead. <laughs> so that was uh, 5,000. We made 5,000 space dollar runies doing that. And then you just rinse and repeat. You go back to the contract manager. You go to Bounty Hunter. And then you go to the, the VLRT here. Click Accept Offer. And then it's off to find Amos Caffery, which is uh, interesting. Whatever. Gonna go ahead and hopefully he's not too far away except that that's obstructed so we can't just teleport there We have to teleport somewhere else nearby so we'll teleport here It's not a teleport it's quantum travel dude it's so aversive oh my god Right now we can see this part of the asteroid belt it's over there And I didn't mean to turn that off uh, apparently changing the missiles turns off your warp drive I don't know why it does that. That's kind of silly. Like, it's, uh... I don't know. I, I, I don't have an answer to that. Alright, so now we can see that there's a big meteor in front of us, so we're gonna kind of fly around that just a little bit so we don't clip it with our ship. And, uh, we'll go ahead and take out Amos here. Amos, whatever his name is. Make sure we don't slam into any meteors. Though we are kind of like... Y you kind of coast around because it's space, right? So... We're going pretty much maximum speed here. I'm going to go ahead and kill the uh, cruise control, start braking. 
because I can uh, now neutralize this dude, lock onto him, and fire! Fires and missiles! Use the gimbals! There we go, that's a direct hit. He's shooting missiles. I have uh, flared them, of course, because that's what you're supposed to do. You can see he's quite far away. I'm going to switch back to missiles again. Get another lock on. Fires and missiles. Hit him with the laser cannons, and he should die shortly. There he is. Now he's dead. Again, that's another 4,500. We got another target, another bogey, as one would call it, maybe. I don't know if that's the proper terms. But we're going to go ahead and... Uh, collision alert! Interesting. He is... Uh, looks like he's kind of far, so we're just going to shoot him with more missiles. That seems pretty safe. And again, he took another hit there. We'll just fire a third missile. You know, three missiles for 500 buckarones, right? And Kablamo still alive. This guy is not dead. See his ship is in the top right here. That's his health bar. Let's see if that blows him up. And target destroyed. 500 bucks. Next mission. Let's go. Next mission. Bounty Hunter. VLRT. Click accept. Don't need to read it because the game will just give me a heads up display anyway of where to go. Brad. We're going to kill Brad. You know, that, that that's a sub name of Chad. Right? It's not quite Chad level, but it's a Brad level. And it's a good thing we don't collide into those uh, asteroids or whatever. Um, he's a little bit... Brad's a little bit further away. That's okay, you know. Just just another minute of gameplay, right? Everything's looking good. We have full shields. We're not damaged. Um, everything, everything, Everything's working right now. Let's just say that. <laughs> the game is working as intended for once. Brad's last known position. Here we go. And uh, sometimes it's really hard to get to these. You have to really finagle around things. But right now, it's working. So far, so good. It's gonna go Looks like this one's going to be fought on a, the surface of a moon. So it's going to be a little bit different than an asteroid. It's you, you just have one big flat surface you can crash into and die in, right? So you got to be careful when you're, you know, turning around in a dogfight and make sure that... Cruise control is nice and turned off, which I'm going to turn it on so we can coast 22 kilometers at Mr. Brad here. And I got Z missiles. Uh, cruise control, hello. And let's turn our let's turn our lamp. We're kind of we're 2,000 altitude above. I want to make sure that I'm a little bit higher up. I really don't want to be close to the plant surface uh, because, again, due to being spacey, we kind of float around here. All right, Brad. 15 kilometers approaching. Yes, and now I'm going to go ahead and once I hit that, yeah, we're going to cut our cruise control off and fire the missiles. Yep, there he goes. I'm actually going to full power to weapons here because I want to try. No, full power to weapons. Let's go. Full power to weapons. Does that make my missiles come back faster? I really want to know. Can someone tell me in the comments? And, uh, let's see. Uh, someone's locked onto me. I'm going to go ahead and get even power. Shields under attack. Very cool. All right. So let's fight him with our cannons now. And for some reason, I'm not able to turn quickly, which uh, looks like my guy's passing out a little bit from all the turning. That's fine. Let's go ahead and start blasting. Yep. You can see the little ticks of damage there. He has no shields. So all of that is whole damage. You would think I could deal more. Let's see. Yep, here we go. Second volley. Pew, pew, pew. And we almost collided with his ship, but he blew up just in time. Now, his friend is being a bit of a butthead, so we're just going to go ahead and take him out now. Dawood Fab Fabre? What a weird, interesting name, I guess. So, same deal. Shoot a rocket at him. Shoot him with the cannons. And I'm going to go ahead and full power to what? Nah, I don't need to. He's already dead. So but, so if, for those that are wondering, this is the power grid. Okay, you can see I have a 33 split between this is shields, this is thrusters, and this is weapons. Okay, and what I can do is I can change it to weapons, change it to uh, engines, shields, or put it back in the middle. And that'll just let my stuff recharge or operate a little bit more efficiently. That, that's all I'm really doing, okay? All right, next mission. Next person to kill... Burl Mahab Mahabir? Okay, Burl. I've never heard I've never heard of the name Burl before, but you never know. It is a space game, you know. Uh, exit atmosphere, of course. Yes, we can do that. And we're blasting off. Yeehaw. Okay, we have exited the atmosphere. 
Let's go get this guy next. Yep, and these are just little 4,000s. The, the thing is, once you do this enough times, you can fight harder. Oh, quantum interjection. Interdiction alert. So that means an NPC is pulling me out of warp drive to fight. Or a player. Could be a, could be a real player. Look, I'm, I'm just going to target them now. Even though the sun... I can't target them. They're too far. Why would they warn me? So that, that sounds like an NPC. Which, um, I've got plenty of decoys left. Anyway, uh, I guess that's a bug and there's no ship there. So I'm just going to continue onward to our target. Because I don't see them on the radar. And let's see, am I able to get out of this? Yeah, it's letting me out. So apparently an NPC shot a missile at me. Um, and then the heads up display for the enemy ship was... Either too far or it's bugged. Whatever. Um, cool stuff, right? Being shot at randomly by... Uh... <laughs> now see, am I going to Burl or am I going to Arc L3? Because I want to go to Burl. I don't want to go to Arc L3. I want to make sure that I'm going to Mr. Burl here. Mr. Burl? Yep. So we're going to go to Gila, which is closer. Definitely don't want to overshoot. Let's go ahead and cancel that because I want to. I want to go here, but it's not going to let me. I'm not close enough. I need to enter. I guess Yila's atmosphere more. Whatever. Whatever. We keep going in and out of warp. I know it's annoying. It's whatever. All right. So that's OM three. There. Yeah, he's in the asteroid fields. Burl's last known position. Hopefully, I'm not going to crash into something before I can warp to it because I do have my cruise control still on. Full blast, by the way, of course. Always full blast. Always going forward. Spiraling towards freedom, as one would say. Let's see. What was that noise? Everything looks good. Make sure we don't run into any meteors. I am a vertical ship, which is this. So we want to make sure that, you know, we're not clipping anything above or below us. Those ships are horizontal, by the way. So, uh... All right, Mr. Burl. It's time to show show yourself. He's going to come flying out from behind the meteor, I guess. We do have our missiles activated. Fire! Fire the missiles! Fire! <laughs> and I got inbound missile. Cool. So took care of that. Pretty basic, simple comment. He looks like he's got some fat shields going right now. Alright, and we're out of those missiles, but I have more missiles. I've got four igniters. We'll just start shooting those. Now, he's too far away from me to hit with my cannons, I believe. So, oh, there we go. He's dead. But he's got a little buddy there. Mr. Brimmer, Lionel Brimmer. Just go ahead and start blasting him with missiles. Yep. Inbound missile. That's going to hit. Maybe, maybe not. All right. Well, we're gonna we're gonna switch to our. Whoa! Almost crashed there. Let's switch to our guns. We are gun fighting. Do I have cruise control? I do have cruise control off. So yeah, we're good. Now I don't like this guy's guns. Those are like very high DPS guns to fight against. But he's dead anyway. So that's another 500. So we're nearly out of missiles. It's fine though. We can just we we have cannons. That's what they're for. Uh, go ahead and grab that one, Mr. This is Katsu Shackleford. I thought it said Rusty for a second. I was like, oh man, really? They're gonna add meme names to this? Uh, over there. He's not too far away. He's in the same asteroid belt, looks like. Yeehaw! Maybe not. It's a different asteroid belt, but it doesn't matter. It's an asteroid belt all the same, and it was within line of sight. So sometimes you, you get them close by, sometimes you don't. Now, how's my missiles? I got one left, so we're going to shoot one missile at this dude. I'm, I'm going to full power to weapons here. Yeah, full power to weapons, because I just want to start blasting. Big, heavy blasting. Hopefully we don't die. <laughs> full power to weapons, and you're like, well, you're flying right now. Why not full power to thrusters? They're, they're maxed out. It's space. I'm just coasting. Actually, I'm going to have to start breaking here. Yes, fire! Fire the missiles! Quickly change modes, change the gimbal! And he, yeah, I gotta shoot way up here to get his traction. <laughs> uh, still full power of weapons. Yeehaw! Come on, gimbals, do your job. Lock on. Lock on, gimbals. There we go. 
Gimbals are locked on and we are ready to fire. That is, <laughs> he died in one volley with full power weapons. All right, cool. Oh, we have another guy here. Inbound missile. Where's he at? I can't shoot the missiles, unfortunately. Hey, I'm f I am flared him. I flared him. Come on, game. All right, full power to, sh to weapons. Yeehaw. He's four, mi four kilometers away. And a fire. Fire the volley. He's firing back, but it's too late for him. Equalize our power outed or power sources and get the next bounty go ahead and accept that and yeah i'm doing a bunch of missions pretty rapidly here but they're only worth like four to five thousand each so it's it's not better than bunkers bunkers you have like at least 10 people in a bunker that you can kill even more if there's respawns and that's 500 each okay i'm only killing one to two ships worth 500 each and then the bunker missions they take about four to seven minutes to get to and they're 15 to 20 to 22k for the fast ones, okay? Whereas these are only worth 4k. And yeah, when you build to the higher ones, you have a... Like, if you have a big-ass spaceship that can nuke dudes really quickly, and you're doing the higher missions, maybe it's worth more than. I don't know. I don't have the ship. I don't have the missions. So, we'll unlock them one day. I'll make a video about it or something, okay? Turn that cruise control off. Lock on to this Busteroni wherever he is there he is and gimbal hello oh he's yeah i gotta aim down here oh i don't have my gimbals turned on so we'll turn those on and go ahead and dodge those missiles easy peasy we have our gimbals activated so our computer is now targeting properly well maybe proper i'm still landing hits manually <laughs> uh and yes i know gimbals are lower dps but i'm lazy i want the computer to do it this is a space game Okay, I'm gonna let the computer do the targeting for me, so <laughs> I don't have to bother being a, a good boy gamer. Wow, he died real fast. Yeah, that dude died super quick. Let's go and take out his buddy for that extra 500. Full power to weapons, and start blasting. Inbound missile, I'm gonna full power to shield. No, you don't need shields. This is already going elsewhere. All right, let's equalize out our weapons and shields and thrusters because I'm being fired upon. So, just uh, we'll just fight normally for now. Thirty-three split. So came out. Is there a third one? I don't think there's a third one. Yeah, we're good. All right, next next mission. We're just banging them out, getting them done, getting them done for sure, for sure. Poncho, <laughs> pa 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 pacho? Not pa I'm sorry, not poncho. And he is close. All right. We got lucky with this one. Super close. In the same little asteroid field, maybe, kind of? Yep. Is this down the road? Is this down the street? <laughs> okay. I uh, hate that the sun... Look, look at the sun. You just stare right into it. Mm. <laughs> uh, oh, shit! <laughs> I stared into the sun, and I wasn't looking where I was driving in an asteroid field. <laughs> oh fuck I didn't check how much money we had before we started but I remember how much money I had before I started it was 982,000 I believe somewhere around that ballpark of 980 something thousand so when I <laughs> stare into the sun oops <laughs> crash into meteor lol I normally scan the asteroid field and see what's close and what's not. And it's not like you can just zoom around it because it's space. You're like, co like you have this momentum. Okay, it's weird. It's like you're, you're, you're floating forward and if you try to turn upwards, you're still going forward. But now you're slowly turning upwards. So there, there was no avoid. The only way to like not die to that is to have a better ship with a stronger everything. So <laughs> well, I guess P Pacho gets to live today. Um, so, I was at like 900-something thousand, we're at 101, 1,017,000, so that was like 30 or 40k worth, I, I don't know, um, it took about 20 minutes, so, uh, it's maybe, it's at least 100k an hour if you're super efficient at it, but I did screw up and crash into a <laughs> asteroid, <laughs> uh, well, shorter video today for y'all, guys, I'm so, <laughs> so bingy. Hey, at least they gave me the free suit. Sometimes that bugs out and I don't get a free suit and helmet. I'm so binging. Thanks for watching. <laughs> As always, be a brone, stay swole. Uh, itch, itchy neck.
Um, make sure you're subscribed because I got videos every day. <laughs> you gotta give the NPCs a kiss. Uh, leave a comment. Make sure you comment on someone else's comment. Tell me what you thought about the space combat. I think the space combat's kind of boring and samey. And, uh... <sighs> um... <laughs> Stop harassing the uh, the NPCs there. Fuck it. <laughs> Listen, guys. Um, if you want to financially support the channel, click the, the thanks button down below. Leave a one-time donation. The donation shows up in the comments section. It's pretty cool. Uh, and if you want to financially support me monthly and become a channel member, that is five bucks a month, you can click the join button down below. Uh, you will get access to private, more personal videos. Um, for members only, and if you want to see a playlist of those members only videos, check out the pinned comment, there is a link to the playlist. And one of those videos is how to be a YouTuber, how to do a tag title, you know, thumbnail, search engine optimization, SEO, as it was called, as it is called. Uh, the programs I used to record, edit, all that kind of fun stuff, it's a 40 minute long video, I think it's worth the 5 bucks if you're interested in becoming a YouTuber and you want like a side hus hustle, some extra money on the side, or if, you know, you want to become internet famous and get free games and stuff, so, uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, thank you for hanging out with me today, sorry this video wasn't longer, I was gonna keep going until I died, but I was being an idiot and staring into the sun and, um, exploded on an asteroid, so... I'll see you in tomorrow's video, videos every single day on this channel. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out. Take care, lads.